Hi there, once again, your wisdom mentor is back again. My name is Edwin RJ, all the way from J Town City. God bless you. And we're talking about spiritual journey part five. Come and say with me, spiritual journey part five. Do well to get the part one to four. Listen to this part five in the name of Jesus. God bless you. And we're talking about spiritual journey. This is your quest in knowing God more. This is your quest in going deeper and deeper in love with God. And going deeper and deeper into the spirit realm. Remember that in the part one we said that when you are taking a spiritual journey, you go with your mind, not your body. Even though some people have gone with their bodies. So, you can be here on earth. You can be in plateau states and then you will take a spiritual journey in another part of the world so in this part five we're going to be talking about how to progress spiritually many of us don't know how to progress spiritually and that is why you are struggling that is why things are not working for you we're going to talk about how to progress spiritually number one read and meditate on your bible if you want to progress spiritually you must read meditate play audios of bible stories and then listen to them you know meditate on those words and then you are going to see a change in your life number two pray often i told you how i would usually come to a mountain to pray and i do it often it doesn't matter the challenge it doesn't matter who has hurt me it doesn't matter what has happened i would usually come to pray continuously many of us don't pray in life because somebody hurts you let me tell you the more reason why you should come to the presence of god is because that somebody has hurt you number three fellowship with others many of us our lives are terrible because you will not associate with anybody. You will not go for fellowship. You will not attend prophetic meetings. You will not come for retreats. You will not come for prophetic programs. And that is why you see that your life is looking stagnant. You need an anointing to break that yoke that has been stopping you. You need an anointing to break the oppression of darkness holding you. Every time you are trapped in life, every time you are depressed in life, every time you are oppressed in life is because something is missing in your life. You need to progress spiritually. So go for fellowship. Number four, be humble. Do you know that in this journey, God is going to be empowering you, He's going to be giving you many things. Many of us, we have big capacity, but God is afraid to bless us because you are not humble. If God gives you one billion dollars, will you be humble enough to be able to use that money for the glory of Jesus? Or will you be so proud that we will not know you anymore? Some people, the only thing making you to look as if you are humble is because you have not gotten adequate material. That's why. Some of us, the small money you get, it brings out your arrogance. It brings out your greed. It brings out your selfishness. It makes you proud. So be humble. Number five, serve others. Let me tell you, the only way to the top is by service. If you want to get to the top, then you must serve and serve again. If you want to get to the top, you must serve and serve again. God says in Exodus 22, or is it 25? He talks about that if you serve God, He will bless your bread and your water. You understand? And He will take sickness away from you. Because there is power in service. Let me tell you, show me a man or a woman that is serving. And I know that the sky is not a limit for that person. Every time God wants to bless somebody, he takes you somewhere to serve. So Elisha began to serve Elijah and he served him continuously. The Bible told us that Elisha would usually pour water on Elijah's hands. Guess what? When Elijah was going, Elisha contacted a double portion of what Elijah did. And he did like double of the miracles that Elijah did. Yes. Why? 
because of service the sons of the prophets were there looking they will not serve they will not come close but if you will dare to serve if you will dare to be different let me tell you god is going to visit you right now powerfully in your life in the name of jesus number six confess your sins and repent from bad habits if you want to progress spiritually let me tell you you must have to con confess your sins continuously many of us may make mistakes but then get up rise again rise again I remember there is always sunshine after rain. Can't you see? It's always better when you rise again, rise again. I remember uh, there is always sunshine after rain. Can't you see? It's always better when you rise again. So rise again from that mess. Though the righteous fall seven times, he would surely rise up again. God is expecting that even though you fall, you rise. If you sin, rise again. Whatever habit that has been limiting you, we break that habit in the name of Jesus. I command your rising right now in the name of Jesus. I command that God right now will bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. Number seven, love others. Many of us, you love only yourself. Cut off from that greed and that selfishness. Begin to love others. Number eight, show gratitude. Be thankful. Be thankful for where you are. Be thankful for what God has done for you. Don't always be complaining and complaining and complaining. Make sure you are thankful. Make sure you are grateful. And I know that something powerful is going to happen in your life. My name is Edwin RJ and I am your wisdom mentor all the way from J Town City. Telling you that watch out for that spiritual journey and God is going to take you higher and deeper. Please watch out for part six. God bless you. Watch out for spiritual journey part six.